Hey everybody, how you doing? Joe for the Joe Wentz Project. As you can see, we're on this long back uh, back road, back country road here, <laughs> and uh, heading into work. So if I was trying to go live right now, it would not work because you can forget about having a signal out here on this stretch of highway. You can just forget it. Um, so uh, let me show you this beautiful shot. That uh, this is. There's some nice scenery out here for sure. Watch this. As we make our way around the bend, look at that. Look at that shot of that mountain. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Isn't that something? It's another overcast day today. It was it was nice yesterday. Today is uh as you can see overcast, but man, it feels so good right now. The temperature as of right now is 57 degrees. I love it. Now this area right up here you're going to see maybe i don't know how it's going to do in the frame here there's a big open area to the right and to the left right when you get um down in here just a little bit and you see a lot of people with uh hand gliders and stuff and i'm like no uh, apparently this is where they land so uh i don't know where they take off from but they land in this area let me see if I can just take this off for a second. You know, you got over in here, that big area over in there, and then right over here to the right. See that big area right there? And then over in here, this is where they, that's where they, they land. And I'm like, uh, that's pretty cool. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. That's See, that's something you couldn't see. If I was trying to stream live, it would be choppy. It wouldn't even be a, you wouldn't be see nothing because it wouldn't even connect. There's a uh, fire station right here on the right. That's uh, I just I know when I get at that point, it's no signals on. Right there it is, no signals on from here for quite a few miles, and then it comes back, then it goes away, then it comes back, and then about the time. If you tuned in yesterday, I did a live stream for maybe 30 minutes uh, heading to work. Um, I was at a, a convenience store that's in a town uh, a little bit further down uh, called Gowansville. And so uh, that's where I started the stream yesterday. And I took that on in, you know, let it, uh, did the live stream on in the work from there. And. And there was glitches here and there. That's just the way it is out here in the country, man. It's just the way it is. Anyway, enough about that. Enough about that. This is not about traveling back country roads and all this. I wanted to share something with you guys. And, and I, you know, it's I, I can't say anything bad because I don't, I don't know the person. Um, it's just, you know eBay can be funny sometimes, right? So, there's this guitar. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. I'm going to take a screenshot and put a picture of it right here and let you see what it looks like. Now, when you first look at it, it it's an eye grabber, man. It, it, it caught my attention right off the bat. I thought I was looking at PV Wolfgang Specials on eBay, just looking. Just looking. And uh, I was waiting for my um, medicine to kick in, my sleep meds to kick in last night when I was going to bed. You know how you do? You lay there and you're like, oh, you toss and turn, you toss and turn, and finally you go to sleep. So I was looking at just browsing on eBay and I typed in PV Wolfgang Special, not EVH, you know, PV. Of course, the ones that are on there are just astronomically, just they're ridiculously high. And, uh, so I'm scrolling, and I come across this one. It's, uh, if, I mean, they do have striped PV Wolfgang specials on there, but they're like, you know, I don't know, twenty five hundred dollars, and that's just ridiculous, man. You know, that's that is ridiculous. I guess because they're rare, I would imagine. But Jesus Christ. So anyway, I come across this one, and I I look and I did a double take. I was like, that's not a. That's not a PV. It's a uh, OLP, and uh, 
I said, ah, yeah, okay, okay. Now, I have, I've had quite a few of those OLPs in my time. You could get, they don't make them anymore, but when they, when they did make them, and, um, you could get them for 200 bucks, brand new. $200. I still have a purple one uh, in my music room. I haven't played it in a while. I need to change the strings on it and just, you know, clean it up, get the dust off of it. But a $200 guitar, I did a setup on it and all that, and it plays incredibly well. I mean, it's just... Uh, the only thing, it, it doesn't have a Floyd Rose on it. It's got, a, it's got some cheap-ass tremolo system on it, but, you know, you can't use it like you'd want to it, it won't stay in tune or nothing but this one here it's it's an olp so i already know right away it's a 200 hundred dollar guitar okay the the paint job the striped uh paint job the guy's got on it looks really good i mean it looks good um he put a floyd rose on it he's got a uh, you know uh locking nut up there uh, he's got a tessie kill switch that lights up if you want it to light up that's nice it's all good. But at the end of the day, man, it's still an OLP. You know, and the, the pickups that come with it are... I know how they are. They're they're not that bad, but they're not that great. But they're okay for what they are. They're all right. I mean, you know, I, like I said, I have a purple one, and I, that is a great playing guitar. It just needed a, a setup, and that was it, man. So this guy is selling this thing well his uh it says on there 499 plus 49 dollars shipping or a best offer and i was like there's no way he's going to get 500 dollars for a olp uh it's just there's no way there's no way you know and uh i also have a olp but it's a uh uh what is it called olp sub and it had a floyd rose and all that and um, I bought it used for 250 off of uh, Reverb uh, about a year or two ago. So what I'm getting at is this guy has got this thing way... He's price gouging the hell out of this guitar. I was like... So I made an offer on it. You know, it's a, I put it in my cart. I wasn't going to pay 500 plus $50 shipping for this damn OLP. I wasn't going to do that. And that's a, that's stupid. And um, so I put it in my cart. Well, I didn't know that if you put it in your cart that the seller can see that. I didn't, I didn't think they could see that. Well, I woke up this morning and it says the seller has made you a counter offer. It's went from $499 down to $480. I said, dude, what? I said, I'm I'm going to be gracious, and and I made an offer just to be gracious because I knew he wasn't going to, you know. So I put 400. I countered offered his counter offer, you know. And I put 400, and then um, that's when he that's when he sent back 480 with an exclamation mark, you know. I was like, dude, what the fuck are you yelling at? You know, you, you know. Yeah, you're fucking mine, you know? And so uh, it said, accept or decline counter offer from, from him. And I hit decline. I said, nah, forget it, man. I was being gracious, you know, offering you $400. That's a $200 guitar. Yeah, you put a Floyd Rose on it and a locking nut and whatever else. And, uh, you know... He did a little upgrade on it. has got a nice paint job, but it's not, uh, in my opinion, it doesn't make that guitar a $550 guitar. That's fucking stupid. It's pardon my language. That's stupid, man. You can get a, a brand new EVH Wolfgang Standard for that money. I know. I got two of them. You know, so uh, he's asking way too much for that, you know, so... And uh, so he, he, I recently looked at my email uh, a little while ago before I got going, and he sent me a message. I don't know what the message is. I don't, I have no idea. He's probably, I don't know if he's got some kind of smart ass response or something like that, but, you know, 
but I declined his his counter offer four eighty. I was like, dude, come on, man. You know, give me a break. So, and I thought that was funny. I thought I'd share that with y'all because that was just a. Uh, there's a bunch of those people on on uh, I about said YouTube, eBay, that really price gouge the hell out of guitars. Now the I've gotten a you know I got a Wolfgang special, a PV Wolfgang special, uh, about a month and a half ago, and it was uh, I made a video about it. It's on this channel. If you go back a few videos. It says New Guitar Day 2001 PV Wolfgang Special USA model. And that guy was wanting... Um, we kind of went back and forth a few times on prices. I think he was wanting 800 And... It's uh, that's what it was. He was one eight hundred, and it said or or make you know uh, throw your bid in you know. So I made a bid of seven. Plus he was charging fifty for shipping, so I made the one and only bid. Excuse me on that PV USA Wolfgang special. I had the one and only bid of seven hundred dollars, and it sat there for. I know I let it get down to like the last 24 hours of the of the auction <coughs> pardon me and um because <laughs> he didn't have a reserve on it I mean well he said you know or best offer so I offered the 700 or a bid excuse me bid 700 and you know he didn't say nothing whatever and I kept watching that thing man watching that, the count the clock countdown and I went to bed, got up the next day, and it said, you know, this auction will end in five hours and two minutes. You know, it was just, you know, five hours goes by. I go back to it, and it still said, you are the highest bidder, but be on the lookout for somebody to outbid you. You know, and I know how eBay works, man. It, there's been plenty of times I've bid on something. And I was the highest bidder up until the last couple of minutes. And then somebody will come in underneath you and make a lower bid. And then you don't have enough time to rebid. Been there and done that. It's kind of, uh, you have to be on top of your game on that shit. You know, I, but really, uh, I have a feeling that eBay really isn't the go-to place anymore for musical instruments. It's a reverb, which I've been doing a crap ton of business on reverb the past uh, couple of months <laughs> a lot um, but uh, yeah so I was looking at I got it that auction was going down I had just two minutes and I got it I got it for 700 plus 50 shipping and um, so if you want to go back on this channel if you want to watch that i just do some live playing with it and it's it's a very nice guitar i put a new uh volume knob on it the volume knob that came on it that wasn't the original knob it was a like a speed knob that came off of a maybe an epiphone or something like that i don't know but that wasn't the original knob there's there's no way i said that knob's got to go so i ordered a chrome knob and put it on there it's it's a great guitar but See, the reason I talk about how some of these people price gouge on on um, eBay, I was originally looking for a purple Wolfgang, but not the uh, flame top, just the flat. You know, it's just like just like the white one I have. It's the same same exact thing as my purple one was. Well, there's one on eBay. You can look it up. Uh, type on there, uh, purple. PV Wolfgang Special, and uh, it comes with a case and all that. But the guys wanting like, like I don't know, a ridiculous amount of money, like a thousand eleven dollars or or eleven hundred dollars or something with a all this money for shipping. And I was like, he's out of his fucking mind. And I, but the, when I looked at the picture, I said that is the same exact guitar I had in the late nineties. 
uh, early 2000s. <laughs> same one, same thing. And I was that's what I was originally wanting, but he's wanting way too much money. See, that's what I'm saying. You know, that's just, I don't know. So you can get a PV Wolfgang special for, um, low low figure 650 up to around 850 and that was the ballpark i was looking in i mean there's some other ones on there now this i'm talking about reverb you know there's uh i looked at i like i still like looking i looked the other day and there's another one on there a red one which i have a red one too um but if there's some spots on it, it looks pretty rough. I wouldn't want it. It's like it's been dropped or something where the, uh, on the bottom part of the body, uh, right where the input jack is, but it's the, you can actually see the damage on the front of the, uh, front of the guitar, right toward the bottom. <clears throat> At the, uh, like I said, the area of the input jack would be, I said, damn, somebody dropped that guitar right there or something. And, uh, it just, you know, it's just, uh, that's just too much cosmetic damage for me i mean it just i can see <clears throat> if you got a couple of little nicks and scrapes and if the back of the guitar <clears throat> is scraped up really bad from uh belt buckles whatever that don't bother me i don't care i mean who's going to see that part of the guitar nobody you know uh, but but uh i've got Wolf PV Wolfgang specials that are all original and I have some that have been upgraded and I have some that uh, they stripped the pickup the original pickups out and put in something else which is still okay but it's you know it's nice to have a few different kinds of the PV Wolfgang specials but I uh, thank God I was able to get a couple that were all original Cause that's what I was wanting, you know. Um, those pickups in the PV Wolfgang specials, uh, man, those things are hot. Those things are high output, and I love them. Those things are, uh, to me, hotter than the uh, pickups in the uh, EVH Wolfgang special line. They're, they're, uh, to me, they're a little bit hotter than those. Uh, so. You know, teach his own. But anyway, the whole point of this video was I was wanting to show you this guitar that uh, this guy's asking this. Uh, you know, come on, man. He's asking too much money for that. I mean, I would love to have it because I have an OLP and it plays great. I've had it for, man, I've had that purple one for years, a long time. And um, those OLP guitars, man. Um, I've had a black one. I've had uh, like the uh, brown flame top. Um, I got the purple one that I still have, and I've had another. Uh, had another, a few more different colors. I or not a few more, a couple more. And I can't remember what they are right now. <clears throat> but those guitars, to me. I know they don't make them anymore, but they are kind of the equivalent to the Harley Benton line, because uh, you know these Harley Bentons when they first came out, they were kind of getting a bad rap, you know, and then they kind of went back to the drawing board and said we need to upgrade our, uh, what do they call it, our uh, quality, you know, and then kind of step that game up a little bit, quality control. There you go, and. And they did. And uh, even now when you get a... Uh, well, I've heard, uh, well, seen on YouTube that uh, people say that the guitars are pretty good, but they still require a pretty thro a thorough setup. And then after that, they're great. Well, that's... What's the big deal with that? You know, that's no... <clears throat> that just because they're putting these... Get, they're spitting these guitars out so damn fast on the assembly line in the factory, or they were, I don't know by now, with the pandemic, but... Uh, they're not going to sit there and set up every guitar and all that. And <clears throat> they go ahead and make them and throw them in the box and put them on the damn warehouse shelf and wait for them to be ordered. So, 
you know, but that's how these OLPs were. You'd get them, and if you understood how to do a just a basic setup, you were in business. And that's what I did, and I was like, man, this thing. Because I still remember when I first learned how to do setups. You know, when I when I got a guitar, I didn't know there was a such thing uh, such thing called a setup. Yeah, you know, I didn't know. I thought it came ready to play, and man, I I didn't know how to do a setup until <clears throat> probably six years ago. Tell you the truth, I didn't know. You know, I'd watch stuff on YouTube, and I just like I didn't understand what the guy was talking about with intonation and all that. And finally. I went to a guy uh, every once in a while. He'd work on my guitars. He'd work on my son's guitars, too. He's a real nice man. He don't do that line of work anymore. He's retired. But And uh, <clears throat> I took a guitar <clears throat> in there to uh, to get set up. And, and it was like y- you couldn't even hear a note on the first three frets of the, of the neck. It was just like tink, 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 tink. And I was like the hell is it doing that for this is a brand new guitar you know but it was a it was a that Nuno Betancourt model I have the real lowest tier uh, I they did have them at Guitar Center or my Guitar Center they had them for a short while they were $199 regular and uh, they had this Black, uh, Black Friday blowout I don't know man probably about four or five years ago and they had them for 99 bucks. And when my wife got got me one for Christmas one year, I mean, it's a, it's, it's got Nuno's, you know, his name typed up there. He's not his signature, but just, you know, Nuno Betancourt model. And I was like, damn, this thing, it feels like a hundred dollar guitar too. And it was on, that was the Black Friday special, $99. I said, I couldn't imagine paying $200 for this because it just feels cheap sharp fret edges every i mean it just you know it's just uh but anyway when i got that you couldn't even play like i said on the first three or four frets it was just tink tink there's dead notes every string dead notes so a few days after christmas when he opened his shop back up after the holidays i um I went over there and uh, I asked him I said man I said I think his name was Glenn I said Glenn I said do you mind if I watch how you do this setup I said I'm not trying to steal your mojo or nothing I said because I was scared he was going to say no because if if I learned how to do it I wouldn't bring back any guitars for him to work on which is not the case I would he's done work for me in the past and it's I mean as far as like pickup installation and I mean, I would always take my stuff to him because he was, he was just incredible, you know. <laughs> and he didn't charge an arm and a leg either, you know. And he would stand by his work. And he said, no, nah, I don't mind. There was nobody else in the store, you know. I felt kind of bad for him. He had this old, he was renting this old building. And he had, like, some guitar tab books in there, like, you know, like, Mel Bay books and stuff, you know. If you don't know what a Mel Bay book is, then uh, you know you're too young and I'm too old to go into an explanation about it. But uh, <clears throat> and he had like some gig bags hanging on a one of those turnstiles, and he had a few guitars in there for sale, but they were all used and they they looked like guitars you'd see in a pawn shop that's been in there for. 15 years you know they they just they were really for somebody that's never played before he didn't have like badass top of the line guitars in there for sale they were probably guitars of his that he that he's had forever and he was just put them up there if somebody wanted to buy one i would imagine but anyway and he said no i don't mind joe he said you can i don't mind if you watch what i'm doing and he goes i'll i'll explain to you what i'm doing and he did and he showed me And um, I'd ask him a couple of questions while he was doing it. And he said, the reason I'm doing this is because blah, 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 you know. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. And I remember. And so when I 
understood I got home and I, I did I set up every guitar I had it took a, it took a couple of weeks to do all that so I could you know have time to do it and do it right but yeah it was it it was it made so much difference in the way the guitar played I I was so blown away I didn't know that I'd had no idea it would make that kind of a difference what a good setup can do I was just naive to the fact you know but yeah, it was cool man it was cool it it I remember grabbing my uh uh, oh, by the way, when he set up the new Betancourt model, it played better, but it still, it was, uh, my son has the same exact guitar, and he has poured money into that thing to make it um, a more comfortable playing instrument. I mean, he put new pickups in it, he had the frets filed. Uh, I don't know what else he had. And I was like, I'm not doing all that. I'll just, I'll just, you know, I had him set it up, had Glenn set it up. <coughs> and I keep that guitar down one whole step uh, in case I want to play like some couple of Motley Crue covers, which I have. But, and here's the thing, here's the thing that makes it bad. You know what gauge strings is on that thing? Nines. Holy crap. That thing. I need to put tens on it, at least. And uh, but it's got nines on there, and it's uh, a <clears throat> real floppy, and it doesn't want to stay in tune. It's a. Uh, but you know, does it play better? Yeah, it plays better since he set it up. But it's just uh, there's you know the uh, material it's made out of. It's just the components and all. It's just. But it's more sentimental value than anything else. You know, my my wife got me that for Christmas, so I'll, I'll, I will always cherish that, you know, because she didn't have to do that. She went at the Guitar Center on Black Friday dealing with all those idiots and waited in line and got me that. And she got my son one as well. So she got us both one that year. So that was really nice. And... um <clears throat> It's actually, you know, the guitar is not that bad when you play it. It's just it could use some upgrades on it. I mean, and I, and I'm a I'm one of those guys that don't like to upgrade nothing. But that guitar, the uh the cheap old trim load that's on there. Uh you know how you got your your uh, saddle screws to adjust the height of your saddles. I got the saddles down or he did so I could get my uh action low. But the screws are coming up. The thread of the screws come up past the saddle. So when your wrist rests and you're playing, it digs into your hand and it becomes rather aggravating after you're playing for 30 minutes, whatever. It's like, it's like, damn, what is sticking me? You know, it's it's those saddle screws, you know. And so it's just, you know, stuff like that. That's just a small example. And um, the guitar don't weigh nothing. It's light as it can be. I was like, what is this made out of, balsa wood? I mean, it's it's very, very lightweight. But but it's okay, man. It's all right. I, I, I can only imagine what a, a mid-range Nuno Betancourt model would go for. Probably, I think they go for, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't even say. I have seen them for like over two grand but I think those are like the top of the line ones but I don't know man I'm not sure I haven't looked into those in a long time I was like holy shit that's expensive you know that's like I'm, I'm not dropping that kind of money on a guitar man I mean it's mm. but but it is possible to have a you know, two hundred dollar guitar, three hundred fifty dollar guitar, and have it set up where it plays really, really well. It's it's possible. I've done it. I have done it. So some people like to take those guitars and 
and just do a complete overhaul on them. Uh, they'll put a, a really nice Floyd Rose on them, uh, a new block in the back uh, with new springs, uh, <clears throat> new pots. And I guess that's if that's your thing, hey, man, go for it. I've, I've never been that kind of... Uh, kind of person to want to, to take on all that i just like to get the guitar plug it up and play it i don't want to have to tear the damn thing apart you know <laughs> but um but anyway i just thought it was kind of funny what this guy's asking for this guitar and uh i was like man if somebody pays that for that guitar that they're really being taken advantage of because that's just that is way too steep for that way too steep man I mean hell for another uh what's see, let's see 550 another hundred dollars I was able to get a PV Wolfgang special and so I mean you know damn <clears throat> this light's green what are these people waiting on Oh, dude, you're supposed to turn. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to go straight. You're supposed to turn. That's a left turn lane, man. This old man right here, he set it to light forever. And there's two lanes. One's a left turn lane. One straight. He's in the left lane. I come beside him. And he goes straight. So I almost come wrecking to the side of him. My God, oh my, man! I tell you, people, man. And they need to they need to remark the asphalt back there because the arrows that show you you're in a turn lane and a, the other one a straight through lane, those are faded so bad you can barely see it. They need to re, remark that pavement with that shit so people know that it's a turning lane. Ugh. You never know what you're going to run into out here. And I deal with this every day. Every day. Well, we're almost at work. I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. You know, am I... Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think the guy's charging way too much money for this OLP guitar that he's got striped up and upgraded? Floyd Rose, Kill Switch, Tessie Kill Switch. He's even got the uh, the eye hooks in there, too. So if you want to get your uh, EVH strap with the dog clasp, you can do that. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, man. Do you think I'm overreacting? Do you th or do you agree with me? Do you think that he's charging? Do you think it's overkill? Let me know. I would love to read what you have to say. Until next time, this is Joe for the Joe Once Project. I need to go. Time to go trucking, man. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.